Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is Funeralopolis Last Days. The city of Hutter Grubno hasn't seen sunlight in months after strange clouds envelop the skies above it. Something's brewing in the air and underneath the surface. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Day one. Oh, we have a little cutscene. And we are in control of the streets. The streets are much quieter nowadays. No wonder, with the current air condition and all. Yes, looks very, very, um, smoky. I like the aesthetic already. Um, let's see, this is our apartment. Wow. Clouds getting thicker every day. We haven't seen much sunlight in months. Hmm, we've got our notes. Hastily written notes from radio broadcasts. I've rewritten them in my main notebook for the convenience. Apparently we are playing as um, an apartment sort of manager. Um, it seems like empty, just like my soul. Old radio equipment, I'll fix them one day. Yeah, apparently this has got the aesthetic of a kind of Eastern European, maybe set in the 80s, maybe set in an alternative reality, we don't know yet. Let's check the radio. Marks the 45th day of intense sky cloudiness. People are advised to stay indoors and don't leave their windows open, as the air can have a negative effect on the lungs, scientists say. We still don't know the source of the city's air pollution, but the right people are working on the problem. For now, all we can do is stay calm and use the time spent indoors to take care of those closest to us. Well, that sounds, uh, pretty bad. Uh-oh. For now, the closest thing for me is this plant in the corner of the room. Is it a water lily? Maybe. Ah, the soothing sounds. Church's private frequency had another confrontation in one of the closed sections of the factories. Two of our people injured. Severity of injuries is mild and non-life-threatening. Five quarantine factory workers have been compromised. One suffered fatal injury. Requesting two emergency trains to help with the cleanup of the biohazard related to the aftermath of the incident. We can't determine the type of hazard we're dealing with. Approach the scene with caution. Ugh. I'm getting hungry. It's dinner time after all. Right. So a bit of um, lore dumping there. Seems like something is not going right in the city. I'll leave the lights on. Why not? Can I? Oh, you turn the fan on as well. Oh, that's, that's great attention to detail. I like it. We'll keep the fan on. This is my little home from home, I guess. Let's check what we got here. Cabinet, various bathroom supplies, hair products. And this is me. Hey, hey, good looking. So old, the dink won't come off. Okay, right. Um, He did say he was hungry. Just getting the lay of the land of my little cozy apartment. What's the newspaper? Comic strips. Okay, I like... Don't need to tell you. I like that the, you can click on basically everything. And uh, there's a cracked wall. I have no idea why my wall is cracked like this. It's been in this state for a month now. Hmm. Painting of flowers. Literally everything you can click on has a little description. And I like that. I like that kind of stuff. Right, what do we got? Some leftover dumplings will do. Bang! And uh, the pot's at a certain weird angle. But hey. Didn't even have to go to the fridge or anything. The food is already getting ready. I like that. Oh, I see. Time to eat. Num num num. So is this in Poland? I should check the radio after dinner. I don't want to miss anything interesting. Um, if so, I'm probably going to butcher a lot of the phrases and sayings if that's the case. Wow, dinner took you that long, did it? This is my little, my little room. Ah, what do we have here? Who to express? 
It is said in the 80s. Okay, Polish language, and it is Polish. Central mine flooded. An underground source of an unidentified liquid was discovered while working at the city's deepest open pit mine, Centrum, Grobno. The thick, rust-colored substance flooded the bottom of the mine in less than an hour, and it appears that the liquid level is gradually rising. Initial estimates by the research staff of the Church of Faith and Enlightenment say the water source is highly contaminated and poses a potential health risk. Work at the mine is suspended until further notice. Hmm. And didn't the, uh, on my radio, didn't the guy say that there was some kind of issue in the mines? Hmm. Got a little peephole. Like that. Mrs. Bugier. She prefers to smoke in a hallway rather than in her apartment, unfortunately. Oh. Can we... No, we cannot go and speak to Mrs. Brigier. Well, let's go test the radio. A little green light's flickering, so I'm assuming there's something for us to hear. Reporting from Sector 2, the mining hole. Today, we recorded a sudden increase in the unidentified liquid that has been filling the mine. Caught some of the crewmen off guard, they came into contact with the substance. We did preliminary cleanups and followed the latest draft of procedures. They should be arriving at HQ's medical ward on the next incoming tram. Take care of them. Also, there are new samples of the soup arriving on the same train. They were taken today after the sudden rise. I... I think I saw its surface move today. Although I think... I wish it were only my imagination. Reports from the mines are becoming more and more concerning as the days go by. Hmm, something's happening in the mines. And that's it. Okay. Oh, I have my notebook. March 1983. Oh, that's it. Oh, I see. Bunch of papers lying around. The more revealed some curious equipment needing repair that got my attention. I prepared a list of needed parts that need to be bought. Things needed in a new apartment, new bedding. So I've just recently moved in. Is that what we're saying? Sort out this year's papers by Sunday. Previous overseer left the office in shambles. The estate council needs documents to be sorted out till the next meeting. I don't know if I'll manage to do it on time. I imagine this job would involve working with the terminal in much bigger capacity than working with people. I also never got to meet the previous overseer. They resigned quickly and with no notice. The council cannot seem to get in touch with them to this day. There was talk at today's estate council meeting about some sort of accident in the mines. I need to go out and buy a newspaper because apparently too much of my attention was taken up on recent repair projects. I managed to read multiple newspapers describing the accident and it seems that it's the most talked about thing in the city. The whole thing seems very sketchy. There still hasn't been any official report that would describe the situation in more detail. People are saying that the church is way too involved with the incident and is suppressing much of the information. I wonder if the rumors are true. I have an idea how to get more information about the accident. The church is using a special transmitter and a hidden frequency for confidential communication, and I think I can figure out the construct. Right, so we're basically eavesdropping in the church's private frequency. Okay. So there is a weird liquid called the soup. Yeah, there's a lot of text, so you can read that on your own volition. Um, you can pause the video if you want. Oh. Oh, is that Japanese knotweed? You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful of that. So, do I know that that's happened? Yeah, that's a, that's a big, that's a big hole. What the fuck? I can't see through the hole. It's pitch black. Is this one of the abnormal things churchmen were talking about on the radio? I need to see if the wall on the other side is broken too. It should be visible from the hallway staircase. Ah. Okay, so now can we go out? We can. Oh, we can explore a little bit further. My office. I haven't been there for some time. I don't need to go in there for now. Interesting. So, what are we saying? Look at the wall. I can't see anything weird from this side. It's getting late and I'm tired. I'll figure something out tomorrow. Hmm, can we actually go down? No, we can't go down. Oh! 
Hey, Overseer. What you doing here? Admiring the walls? Hello, Adam. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't sneak up on people like that. Haha, <laughs> sure, sure. Is there anything going on, or...? No, not really. It's nothing you have to worry about. Uh-huh. If you say so. Okay, Adam. You sneaky little fuck. Don't be crawling... Don't be creeping up on me. Alright. Let's just check out what we've got here. Little... Little sink area. Sanitary area. Yeah. I'm liking... Oh. Clinic's apartment. Apartment of Mr. and Mrs. Clinic. I don't need to bother them. Right. Bathrooms. Communal bathroom. I'm gonna check out who are... Oh. It is with deep regret that we inform you that on May 13th, 1983, our beloved husband, father-in-law, uncle died at the age of 41. The late Tadiz Mandrella. The funeral of the dearly departed will be held on Thursday from the Church of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Hmm. Okay. So there seems to be... That's Mrs. Bajirs. I really don't want to talk to any of them. I'm getting a sense that... Creepy old guy's apartment. This old man is giving me the creeps. And what's with the noise? Well, there is a kind of weird rumbling going on. Interesting. We have the newspaper here. The third innovate. I'm going to let you read this. But we have some missing mine workers, apparently. And uh, record population number is now over 12 million inhabitants gaining the status of an autonomous megacity. Yeah, so it seems like there's been uh, a massive population rise, and um, we're coming into these sort of like mega structure houses. Weird guy. I think I can go to sleep now. And it appears that I'm not really suited for the role of overseer. That's what I'm thinking here. It's not like I'll do anything with the hole today. Might as well try to contact somebody tomorrow. I hope it won't get worse at night. I think it's going to get worse at night. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. The hole gets bigger. Something must have woken me up. I should check what it was or I won't be able to fall asleep again. Let's maybe put on all the lights. And the fan. Get some air going on in here. Something hap oh, something's happening on the back of the building. I'll see you better from the end of the corridor. Oh. Let's just get the uh, radio. Got almost everyone out. We're in the process of identifying residents and relocating them to HQ. Two trams are already on their way, three more to go. Source is in the basement. We'll probably need another team to secure it. I'll give you an update after all the residents are out. Hmm. So, are they evacuating certain buildings? Is that what we're... Let's check on our little hole. Thing's still here. Well, yeah. Wouldn't have disappeared. Ah. Oh, I can look at the time. It's 12 o'clock. Looks like... Is that Adam? Seems like Adam is concerned with whatever's happening down there as well. Oh, we have a mass of people. Adam, is something going on? You tell me. I was smoking on the balcony when I heard something going on on this side of the building. So I came to check you out and what do you know, the church shows up. They went to one of the blocks. The church? What are they doing here? Beats me. They arrived like about 30 minutes ago. A lot of them too, all gilled up and shit. Then the residents started coming out. Suspicious as fuck if you ask me. Very suspicious indeed. Check it out for yourself. Hmm. So it does look like the church are evacuating people, huh? 
That's a lot of people outside. It looks like the whole building is out. Yeah, seems like it. And they're all loaded into the trains. The fuck must have happened there? I really don't like this. Yeah, no shit. I wonder... Uh, hmm? I wonder if we'll hear about this in the news, you know? Oh, I really don't think so. But we'll see tomorrow. I guess. Hmm. So, if I'm like the building manager, surely my duty is for the people, but I'm getting the feeling I don't really care about them. I'd rather just sit at home, fixing my, fixing my transistor radios and whatnot, and just leaving everyone to deal with their own shit. And in the meantime, there's a big damn hole in my kitchen. Right, well. I like, I'm liking the aesthetic, I'm liking the lore. I'm enjoying the little cramped office spaces. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I hope I'll be able to fall asleep again. Day two. Well, let's see outside. The streets are empty. Ah, uh, empty streets. Have I made any more notes? Trouble arising near the city borders. Due to the ongoing conditions in the city, many of the people decided to leave. However, this has become severely difficult in recent days. The trains and trams leaving the city are overcrowded and the infrastructure is simply unable to keep up. Waiting times have become unbearably long and some trains don't arrive at all. Those who decided to leave on foot are facing at least a two-day hike to the nearest city. It's not an easy journey to make for those who undertake it unprepared. Overcrowded trains are a long hiking trip? No thanks. Hmm. Reporting one fatality. The guidelines we received have proven insufficient. I understand that they are subject to constant change, but they have now failed us. They didn't prepare us for the event that transpired. Please update them as soon as possible to prevent further endangerment of our crew's lives due to these avoidable mistakes. From now on, all marked buildings confirmed to show dangerous activity must be placed under mandatory lockdown. Relocate all uncompromised residents immediately. Let them take their valuables. There is a chance they won't have anything to return to. Can my apartment be marked because of the thing in the kitchen? It doesn't look that serious, but maybe I should take another look at it. Hmm. So, it seems like the whole city is coming under threat by this, the soup. The liquid soup. Um, well. Is it really that serious? It's just emitting some sound. It doesn't look like something that would warrant a liquidation of the whole building. I can always try to record it to determine whether it's dangerous or not. Just need to pick up some equipment from the living room. Ah. Huh. Okay. From the living room, which would be... This would be the living room? I guess. Not much of a living room. What equipment are these? I'll fix them one day. No. Is it the radios or something? Ah, microphone. I'm going to need these. Now to take the recorder. This recorder? This recorder will do. I should put these things in the kitchen. Hmm. We have some books over here. Collection of technical books about radio transmitters and other machines. There are also some sci-fi novels tucked between them. Yeah, I don't seem to be... I don't seem to have a TV or anything. Um, but hey-ho. Right, where am I putting this? Down here? And that's the frying pan. Where am I setting up this recording equipment? Leftover dirty dishes from yesterday. I guess I'm not cleaning it up. Okay, I almost got everything set up. I'm only missing a cable. There should be one in my office in the hallway. Oh, I've okay, I've set it up there. Ah. Take a little peepee -pee kick. Oh. Mrs. Klimek is sweeping the hallway. Let's go have a little chat with her. We haven't seen her yet. Hello, Mrs. Klimek. Klimek? Klimek? We're going to call you Klimek. Hello there. I haven't seen you in a while. Good day, Mrs. Klimek. 
I see you're stepping in for the janitor today as well. <laughs> what more is there to do for such an old lady like me? Who knows when our janitor will come back, poor guy. Now you holding up. Oh, I'm getting by. No reason to worry here. Just getting a little bored, as Henrik is asleep most of the day. Well, you, you keep on, Mr. Klemek. Yeah, community spirit. That's what it's all about. So this is the office. Ah. I like the kind of padded doors as well. Gives it that kind of feeling that, you know, this is this is my shit going down here. Documents. Ah, is this me? No. Oh, apartment rental. Adam. So this is Adam. Monthly amount of rent not registered. All payments are waived for the duration of the environmental emergency. Interesting. So do we have to be worried about Adam? Is he like some kind of double agent? What do we have here? Terminal. Terminal used to access all of the important data related to this block's management. It's a privilege to have access to such complicated and powerful machine. I wouldn't be allowed to use it if it weren't for my job. Hmm. Cool box. Got some posters here. Yeah, I'm liking the attention to detail on everything here. Um, yeah. Notice board. A lot of obituaries have piled up over these past few months. Hmm, that's not good. What do we have here? Council estate of the 50th anniversary neighborhood. Reminder address for the overseer of the residential block at Bl Blonska 6. Members of the council are concerned about your lack of dedication to the work as well as the mixed feedback derived from a survey conducted among the residents of the block. We kindly request that you attend an interview summarizing your work trial period. Is that for me, or is that for my predecessor? Hmm. Yeah, this should do it. Oh, I've got the cables. Oh. Church tram is here. This can't be good. Uh-oh. This can't be good at all. I can hear unknown voices coming from the hallway. Maybe it'll be best to just wait this out here. Uh-oh. Oh, the light was already turned off. Um. Right. Uh. Oh, hello. Hmm. You're the lady from last night that was evacuating people, right? Right? I'm the representative of the church's scientific division. You're this building's overseer, I presume. Yes, that's me. Hello. Good. We'll have to take a look at the terminal's records. Of course. Take whatever you need. We will. All right. No need to be like that. Getting sketchy vibes from this church already, but... Say, have any of the residents reported anything unusual happening around the building recently? Ah. What, tell her about the crack in the wall, or keep it to yourself? This game apparently does have two endings. Um, so... I would, I would go with the, or keep it to yourself. Because I don't trust this church. These people. Or what's actually happening in the city. But, we'll tell her... And then we'll see how it goes. Yes, there is something abnormal happening around. Elaborate. In my apartment there is, uh... Well, come and see for yourself. Uh-oh. I mean, this can't be good, right? Oh dear. And so, the churchman came to your apartment. What they saw seemed to greatly alarm them. Oh dear. It was a good call to tell them, you think. Uh, I'm already thinking it wasn't. There was also something else that caught their attention. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Your eavesdropping of their channels has been found out. Oh no! I'm gonna be put to death. Normally you'd be arrested for that. Okay, arrest is not as bad. That's not as bad as I thought. But your technical skills seem to be more important for them. Ah. You were given an offer. Declining is not an option. Not that it really mattered. Why not? Oh. Mrs. Klemek? It all happened too quickly. Oh dear. The residents weren't evacuated in time. And they were in the heart of it all. What's happening? Oh, Adam's on the street. Um, what is that? Doomed. 
You were safe in the church HQ when it happened. Did the liquid soup finally amalgamate to become something huge? Just the guilt remains. It was a good choice to make. Wow. Well, that was one potential ending. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's try and go for the other one. So this time, we're going to keep it to ourselves. There's nothing that I know of, and it's not like they'd uh, tell me if anything worrisome happened. Oh, aren't you the overseer? I get this position not long. I got this position not long ago. The residents don't trust me yet. I see. Shame. More work for us. One of my men will stay here and take the data from the terminal. We'll be back in a few days to do a more thorough search of the whole building. Mandatory, just so you know. Sure, thanks for the heads up. Are you going to get out of my office now? Huh? Oh wow, look at this serious guy. I'm here to collect the data from the terminals. If you have anything to report, please take it to the other crew members. Yeah. I'm liking the lore here. I'm really enjoying this game. Um, oh no. Klimek's apartment. The church is talking with Mrs. Mr. Klimek. I hope it's nothing serious. Oh dear, what do you got to say? Is something the matter? Do you have anything unusual to report? What kind of unusual are you looking for exactly? I'm afraid I cannot share this information with you. If you encounter anything out of the ordinary in the near future, please contact the church directly. Sure. Yes, I'll do that. What's Adam got to say? Hey, overseer. I saw the lead church lady come into the office. Do you know what's really going on here? Is this just a regular checkup or... Sorry, Adam. I'm afraid I don't know anything more than you right now. Bummer. I'll just have to wait and ask for her myself, I guess. Hmm. I missed it. I'm going to say the G is silent. Neaters. Creepy old guy. Yeah, it's still got that noise coming out. This building is probably completely empty. Hmm. What is that white rectangle on the wall? What? That, I can't... What, that one? What's he talking about? I'm assuming that rectangle there. Don't know what that... Oh. If that's... If there's another crack. So maybe... Yeah, there's definitely different cracks turning up in the buildings and they're kind of plugging them up, right? So is this today's new paper now? No, we've already got that. Okay. Yeah, if this is from a single developer, then I am mightily impressed. Uh, the, the attention to detail and everything... Oh, she's come out. The law building, the posters, like, just look, any way you look, there's, there's, there's new things to see. Yeah, I like this. This is the kind of thing I like. Your help is not needed anymore. Thank you for your cooperation. Alright. So I guess I'm just uh, heading back into the old uh, apartment, huh? With my own crack in the wall. I'm sure the hole in the wall is nothing that serious. Eey. I don't know. I got a feeling this soup stuff is going to be coming out of it very soon. Now that we didn't tell her. I mean, the first ending was that we survived. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't really have much faith. The cable needs to be plugged into the electrical. Oh, yeah, I got the cable, didn't I? There. Oh, so it's all set up, right? Okay, it's all set up and ready to be recorded. I should give it some time to pick up the sounds. I'm getting hungry too. So, let's uh, make something to eat. I'll just grab something quick from the fridge. Okay, we're getting from the fridge. What do I have here? Mmm, sandwich. Yesterday's sandwiches from the cafeteria. They're starting to get pretty nasty, but I'm not about to let food go to waste now. Oh, so I just I just ate that food with the mold on it? Okay. Okay, I wash it. You've got to be a clean person. You've got to be clean and productive. No? Alright, so I guess I'm just uh, mulching around now. It would be better if I don't go to the kitchen for the time of recording. I wonder if there's anything going on on the radio. I also hope the churchmen haven't done much damage to the office. Hmm, let's have a little look outside. Ah, uh, it's her again. Mrs. Bajir smoking again in the hallway. Oh, we can speak to her this time. Great, let's speak to her. i got to earn some trust around these res residents, right? Ugh, why were the churchmen here? You're the overseer, so you should know, huh? Unfortunately, no. I only know what they wanted to get some general data. 
Besides that, they asked if everything was all right here. All right? How could anything be all right right now? Did they at least tell you how long will all this last? I'm afraid they do not know themselves. Fucking useless, all of you. As an overseer, you should demand the information from them. You owe it to the residents that you're supposed to manage. That's all. Yeah, so she's a bitch. And I feel as well that there's like little things that I'm missing out on. Like, um, would I do I have to go to the radio every time? Are there little little secrets, little trinkets? Probably. I probably am missing out on some of that. But um, right, he said to go to the radio, so we're gonna we're gonna close the door so she doesn't come and see us. We need our privacy, you know. See what's going on in the old. Uh Horn to H6. Horn 2D to 4D. Hmm. Night from H8 to F6. They're playing chess over the radio? I don't want to listen to that. Hmm. I can always update my notebook with new developments to pass the time. Let's do that then. It will take some time. The recording should be ready now. Ah, more notes. So it was up nine before. Yes. I feel that nothing good is going to come from this uh, hole in the wall. Let's see. Did it pick up anything strange or unusual? Well, that can't be good. Oh dear. What is, what is this now? What is happening? Bed. I need to lay down. I'm about to throw up. Oh. What is Mr. Klimek doing here? I don't feel well enough to deal with this right now. No, I can't go in the bathroom. Can I go throw up in the toilet? I'm gonna hold on. Okay, it just looks like I'm going to bed, huh? Let this all just end. Okay. We are now in some kind of weird dreamscape. Is this the soup? Is this like the soup entity or something? I don't know. There's only one door here. Is this me trying to... Was it... What means... No, I have to take it from... Door? Hmm... Oh no. Oh dear. Uh oh. The hole has taken my hand. Day three. Oh wow. Um, hmm. The sounds are gone? I've got my hand still. Okay. This needs to be cleaned up ASAP. All right. So was, was that just a dream then? Oh, is that a mop? Okay. No time to waste. I don't want to deal with the dry blood. What a mess. Oh dear. Did I really lose so much blood? Oh, I don't know about that. Almost done. So hang on. 
Where's all this blood come from then? Interesting. See if there's any information from the radio. No, no information on the radio. Have a little looky outside. Nothing. Clouds are getting thicker every day. We haven't seen much sunlight in months. Hmm. Do my notes say anything? What the fuck was I thinking? What, leaving evidence? Hastily written notes from radio broadcasts. I've rewritten them in my main notebook. So what, I've just... Damn it all. I mean, it's pretty incriminating if they do come and see me, right? So... Hmm. Yeah, I've got some, like... The sink is so... Do I take... I really need that shower. Oh, okay. The red is not coming off. Oh dear. I don't know what it is, but... I don't feel any pain. Clothes stained with blood. I better wash these now, the stains won't come off. Oh! So I just had another pair of clothes exactly like the ones I was wearing. Good. Okay, so... I've just got like a red hand. Am I turning into like the red skull or something? What is going on here? have a look outside. There's no one out there. The hallway is empty. Maybe, am I meant to go to my office, or...? Make some dinner? Can't have a coffee without it. He's not hungry, but he wants some coffee? I'm not sure what I'm actually meant to do here. Do I just go to bed? I'm not sleepy yet. Alright, maybe I go outside. No. Um, what now? Oh. I see I had to walk towards the thing to... Who's that? Oh, Mr. Nita? What can he want right now? Yes, is something the matter? Oh. Mr. Nina, did something happen? Yes, there is a problem. A light at the end of the hallway. It's not working and sparks come out when you turn it on. Janitor's not here. Can you fix it? Can't you just, uh, not turn it on until the janitor shows up? No. Sparks can cause fire and that would be bad. It's your job to take care of the problems here. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll do it now. Just give me a moment. Good. Okay. Hmm. I need to cover up my hand if I want to go out. There should be some bandages in my bathroom cabinet. Okay. I hope it will be enough. Okay. Nicely bandaged hand. Now we can go out. Ah, Mr. Klimek. Hello, Mr. Klimek. Good morning. Was that Mr. Nieder at your door? I haven't seen this guy in ages. Yeah, that was him. I tried knocking on his door, but he always ignored me. He hasn't been the same since he was dismissed from factories a month ago. Oh well, maybe he'll come around in time. Yeah, I don't get the feeling he will. I still- I want to go in the bathrooms. Why can't you- why can't we go in the bathrooms? Vacant apartment, right. Yeah, so this is... Oh, I see. Yep, that's a, that's a faulty lamp. Yeah, I guess it's got damage pretty bad. I have tools in my office. Ah. We 
did see some, uh, yeah, some toolbox. Better get that light fixed. So I'm the handyman now? I mean, I know I'm the manager of the place and everything, but, um... Should they, surely there should be a handyman for this. The damage to the cable doesn't seem to be that severe. Quick fix should be enough to keep it steady for now. Now to see if the lamp itself got damaged. Oh. We ran out of light bulbs a while ago and still don't get the delivery. Oh. Uh oh. Oh dear. What is your problem? Mr. Nita, that was highly inappropriate. Nice bandage. Just wanted to see. See what? Oh, does, does he have some red on him as well? I think he's got some red on his neck. What happened to your hand? That's no concern of yours. I, I'll be going now. <sighs> See you in hell. Right. Yeah, I think whatever's happening to us has also happened to that creepy old fuck. Yeah. I'll leave it here for now. So, did he... Do you think he busted the lamp himself just so he could grab me and see my arm or something? Oh, what do we have down here? Adam's apartment. No reason to bother the guy. Looks like there's a slip down here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is boding well for us. Do we have to put the uh, toolbox back or... Um... Yeah. Very good. I can barely tell apart the day from night. Oh, what's that? Hang on. Seem to be a lot of red. Oh. And yeah, there's a leaflet. Citizen, may it be make it easy for the staff to work on maintaining security. Cooperate with church staff inspecting the building where you live. Report any past stay in the industrial factory area. Report any observed abnormal or unexplained events that you have trouble explaining. E.g. unannounced visual changes in your residential building, sudden efflorescence of mold, sounds of unidentifiable origin, persistent and unprecedented skin lesions. Okay, so that they know what's going on, right? They know what's going on. Um, yeah. 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 There was definitely something going on over here. Oh. Oh dear. Uh oh. Power grid's going down. Oh, the cracks aren't just appearing in the buildings anymore. They're appearing on the streets. Crowd's attention is now split between the bloodbath and the crack on the street. Uh, there's a guy there, right? Oh, I feel like the right mouse button should be zoom as well, but um, it's quite, I guess it's quite realistic that... Okay, um, anything on the... Yeah, let's get some news on the radio. Maybe they've... The church have made a report. Our broadcast is being postponed due to sudden on-site developments. We'll provide an update on the situation soon. Mm-hmm. No, okay. Do I make some notes about this? No. Um, did that get bigger then when that happened? What even are you? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing good. Am I hungry? I'm not hungry. Maybe I should just go to bed now. Let's look for the peephole. Oh, she's out there again. Let's have a little chat. Mrs. Bergier, did something happen? What was that? An earthquake? What's going on? I think so. The street in front of the building is all cracked. Oh god, why is all this happening? No one really knows, but we're all going through the same thing. Oh shut the fuck up! You're an excuse and of all- Oh, right, wow. I can't fathom why. Out of all the candidates, the board chose you. You care only about that weird machinery of yours, not about the residents. Why did you choose to work at the factories then, huh? Isn't that taking this too... Commuting to work is too much of a hassle for you? You were probably after the apartment too, so that you could hole up in there for days avoiding everyone else. Sharing spaces with the residents is below you, huh? 
Miss Bezier, please, that's really uncalled for. You shouldn't be here. Just fucking leave. Well, I mean, she's not wrong. Oh, is there someone? Oh, Mrs. Klemek. Huh? I'm sorry to say this, dear, but maybe it'll be better if you leave for now. Sorry. Oh, they're all turning against me. They're all turning against me. Come on, Adam. You gotta be in here, buddy, right? Ah, oh, I've gotta have some someone on my side. But to be honest, I haven't really been a good manager. Everything she said there was pretty much uh, true, right? I mean, he said it himself, but he's kind of, uh, can we leave now? We can't leave, okay. Well, maybe I shouldn't have gone out there just to have my uh, ego. Yeah, why uh, have I even bothered, exactly? The bandage is getting really uncomfortable to wear. Might as well take it off as I don't feel like going outside anymore today. Hmm. Has my condition got worse? No. Still just red. Fantastic. I'm just going to bed now. I'm not sleepy yet. Alright. Hmm. Make something to eat? Maybe there's something else on the radio then. Aha. Following the incident on Bolonska Street, we're receiving reports of small earthquakes throughout the city. Cracks as wide as one meter have formed in neighborhoods near the factories and mines. Tram services are disrupted by these unusual occurrences, and pedestrians are advised to exercise caution when moving through the city. Yeah, I'm not going out anywhere in this state. The guy just wouldn't shut up, and the screaming. I couldn't tell whether he was in pain or just mad. Unfortunately, we didn't get there before he lunged at some random pedestrian. At first, we thought he was covered in blood, which was partly true, I suppose. So this is the guy from the street, right, with all the blood. But when we got closer, we realized it wasn't just blood. His entire body was fucking red. Blood red. We got them transported to the labs. Maybe they'll figure out what's going on. The thing is, when my teammates apprehended him, after making contact, their exposed skin showed symptoms of extreme irritation. I really hope it's nothing, but it did not look good. I've had enough of this day. I'm getting really tired and my headache is getting worse. I better take some painkillers before this turns into a full-blown migraine. Okay. Right, so this is going to start infesting me, right? Uh, where are the painkillers? Are they in the bathroom? My clothes are done yet? It's done. What was that? Oh, here. Has it helped my reflection? Hmm. Maybe, maybe go for another shower. Maybe try and rub that red off, you know? Huh? Someone's... Oh! Someone's at the door. Oh, no. They saw my red hand. Empty hallway. I didn't lock the door. Fuck. Who would even do something like this? I hope they didn't see my hand. I've had enough of this day. I just want to go to bed. Well, no one, none of the residents trust us, right? So they're going to report it to the church. I'm going to get shipped away. And then this whole area is going to go under some kind of weird quarantine. All the monsters will rise up and kill them all, like we saw in the first outcome. Now that I think about it, Maybe it's best to cover up the hole in the wall for the night. I don't want to repeat what happened today. How am I meant to cover up that hole? And maybe I should have done this a lot sooner. That table should be the right size for this. What? A table? A table's not going to do anything, my friend. Just need to take everything off. I like the way everything kind of just uh, pops when you uh, do something. I hope it'll be enough. I don't think that's going to be enough. Um, I think we're already infected by whatever this substance is. Um, yeah. 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 Maybe this is a cautionary tale of that, you know, the amount of people digging into mines and bringing up things they shouldn't do is the heart of this. Finally. Hmm. What weird dreams will we see tonight? Uh-oh. So what is this? Am I in the darkness here? Oh. The radio's blinking. Nothing? 
Imagine your face melts down and falls off every day, but you can pick it up and mold it back together. Would you make yourself a new one? How long would it take for you to get bored of repeating the same thing every day? You know, after a while, you stop caring whether your face is there or not. It's easier this way. And it's not like anybody cares. Oh dear. You won't have to imagine that now. Oh dear. It's too dark. The lights aren't working. No. Oh dear. Ah, uh, my hand- my hand isn't red though. But I don't think this is me. I think this is me daydreaming. Because that's me there, isn't it? Oh no. Disgusting. Get off my bed. It is my bed. My place to rest. You and I are the same. Placed at different intervals of time. I- I, I don't believe you. You brought it upon yourself. How was I supposed to know it would end up like this? Don't worry. You're welcomed to your fate. Don't fight it. I never wanted any of this. It's not about what you want. It's about what you do. It's about what the world does to you. Don't fight it. I will. I don't agree to this. This disintegration. There's not much you can do now. It will be okay. It doesn't hurt. You won't be alone. Oh dear. So, oh, it's day four now. <laughs> I, oh dear. Oh dear. So are we becoming one with the, the soup? Is that what's happening here? How are we looking? I think I'm going to have to look in the mirror and see... Uh, uh, well, the hand's getting worse now. It's not just red. It seems to have very... Uh, tendrily like um, substances on it. Not good. Not good at all. And someone's knocking at the door. Oh no. Yeah, that's not good. It still just seems to be the hand or the arm. Alright, alright, who is it? Oh, Mrs. Klimek. I can't open a door looking like this. I'll just talk to her through the door. Overseer, please open the door. I, I can't. Just tell me what's happening. Uh, it's Henrik. No matter what I do, he's not waking up. He's still breathing, but I can't get through to him. Phone line is busy all the time. I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm sorry, Mrs. Klimek. I'm afraid I'm not in no shape to help. I'm barely able to stand. What am I supposed to do? I'm sorry. Oh, Mrs. Klimek, I'm sorry. Can't help you. Old Henrik's uh, not looking good. Do I see... Well... Oh. What's... Has the table infused with the wall, or is this a glitch? The thing changed. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's taken over my mind. It's gloomy outside. All right. Um, can we maybe chop off our hands? You know? Is that an option? Can we chop off the arm? It's old and gross. Maybe more medicine will help. I doubt it will help. Um, okay, well, I guess. Do we listen on the radio? That's another entire block of people affected by the recent mass relocations initiated by the church. While their suspicious actions have been kept quiet so far, the citywide scale of the operation made it impossible for the situation to remain hidden forever. Both church officials and the city council currently refuse to provide an official statement. If anyone has been directly affected or has any information, please contact us. The citizens of Huta Grobno reserve to know what's going on. Hmm. We're approaching the building from the anonymous resident report. It's that damn street again. We'll report after the job is done. They are probably after me. That's probably for the better. Oh no, someone's banging at the door now. Someone's banging at the door. It's not a good idea to go out. Oh, I was going to try and jump over the balcony. Hello? It's probably the church. Hmm. 
Yeah. They did say they'd be back in a few days to check up on things. Come on, Adam. Do something. Save me, pal. Uh-oh. Mr. Nita. Oh, dear. He's gone full red, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, dear. So it is Cthulhu-like monsters that are rising up, or are they taking over people and then becoming like massive monsters? Hmm, interesting. Are you sure about your choices? No, I am not. I am not sure at all. There you go, guys. That was Funeralopolis, Last Days. Um, I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Um, everything from the sound, the sounds that were going on were really great. It had this kind of gritty sort of Trent Reznor sort of feel to it. I really enjoyed that. Um, the lore that was here was amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, my takeaway from this was that the city was this overpopulated state. We'd polluted the place. We'd gone digging in the mines and we'd unleashed this liquid uh, soup that was then slowly reclaiming the land back. And we were just mere pawns. Now, whether the case is that we were turning into the red people and then just going crazy or then mutating into, you know, different entities uh, can be debated. We saw the, the person in the bed who was all red and was saying like, you know, the inevitable is happening. We're, we're coming and we're changing. I like that. It's got kind of invasion of the body snatchers type of vibe to it. Um, yeah, everything about this was just really great. If this is solo dev, then I, I do, uh, tip my hat to you because the amount of, uh, conversations going on, the lore, the aesthetic, uh, the sound, everything about this was just, mwah. It was nice. It was a spicy meatball. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, if you have, leave the comments below. Let me know what you thought. Was there a secret ending? Was there something that I've missed? Probably. There usually is. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, please sub. Otherwise, I will infect you with my readiness and you'll become a monster. Until the next one, stay ghoulish. Bye.